Hi there everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your independent Sensi Consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So, I have been trying to do a little series every week, although I have had things come up the last few weeks, so it has been skitter scatter, but I have been trying to do a little series called my ultimate six pack and what I do in this little series is I take a theme and I take Sensi's database of their scents that are available that are not available I basically take their whole database of scents and create what would be my ultimate six pack based on that theme if I had access to all of those scents. Now, the only rule I do stick by, and that is because when you're purchasing a bundle and save six pack, you can either purchase a bundle and save normal pack, or you can purchase a bundle and save licensed pack. So I don't mix and match the licensed with the normal packs. I just stick to either a normal pack or a licensed pack in this bundle and save. Normally, a bundle and save six pack is your cheapest way to go, so that's why I choose six cents because it's essentially buy one and buy five, sorry, and get one free. So, let's delve into this week's six pack, shall we? So, this week's theme I have chosen is cozy master bedroom. So, these are probably for me my wheelhouse six cents that I rotate in and out constantly in my master bedroom and I entitled them cozy scents because for me my master bedroom I love to have warm cozy comforting soft romantic central scents and as we talk about these scents you will see that's kind of the theme I've stuck to so Let's talk about my ultimate cozy six pack, shall we? So, the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that is currently available in our catalogue here in Region 3. I know if you're from Region 2 or from Region 1, it's currently not available. It comes out in your four winter catalogue and it comes out in our autumn winter catalogue here, which we are currently in. And that is Cozy Cardigan. So I became a consultant in February, 2020, and it was in our catalogue then. And I slept on this scent. I kind of just breezed past it, didn't think much about it, the catalogue changed over. Didn't put it in my Scentsy Club. It was not one that I thought I would enjoy. And then I think we had a flash sale just before the catalogue was due to change over again. And I picked up a few of these in the flash sale. So that was my first time ever trying Cozy Cardigan. And I fell in love and I was like, why did I not try it before and have the opportunity to put it in my Sensi Club? And because it was in that flash sale, I thought it's not going to come back. I've missed my chance. I'm just going to have to enjoy what I picked up in the flash sale. But luckily it did. And I learned my lesson from then on. Try scents before you discount them. Because even though you may not think much of it on cold, you may fall in love with it on warm. So let's talk about the scent notes for Cozy Cardigan, shall we? So it actually falls within our fresh category and I'm actually quite surprised because for me personally, I think this would base on some of the scent notes fit better in the woods category. That's just my personal opinion or the floral category. So let's describe what it smells like. Find bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose and amber silk. So suede to me is woods, rose floral. 
what I get from this is a very perfume musky and I don't mean perfume in a bad way it's this really warm coziness from that suede but then you get like this musky perfume coming through from the rose it reminds me of getting ready for a night out or you've gotten ready for your night out you've come home from your night out and you've got that perfume and that musky vibe from being out on a night out still lingering on you and you're curling up in a warm blanket it is romantic it is cozy it is soft and this scent just puts me in a good mood and it's actually my husband very rarely ever comments on scents but he has commented when I have this warming in the bedroom that he really likes this scent when it's going he has asked me what scent have you worn me so this one even appeals to my husband who very rarely comments on scents so that would be number one for my ultimate six cat cozy cardigan so coming in very similar to scent notes in cozy cardigan but i feel that is a little bit more richer a little bit more sensual a little bit more deeper was new track had a lot last season and that is cashmere and corduroy so if i was a guessing woman I kind of feel this may come back with our catalogue changeover in August, but it is in my Scentsy Club just to be on the safe side. I was not going to make the same mistake I did with Cozy Cardigan. So cashmere and corduroy is wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot and cashmere sandalwood. So this is in the woods category. Just pardon for a minute. I was dropping all of the scents we're about to talk about. So this is in the woods category when it is available in our catalogue. And as I said, it was new last season and I feel it was popular enough to make a comeback. So this gives me cozy cardigan vibes, but it's a little bit more highly perfumed, a little bit more richer and a little bit more deeper. And it's that bergamot that's kind of adding that depth I feel to that perfume it's not so musky it's more of a very sensual scent but again that corduroy gives you that very warm cozy inviting feel so if you love cozy cardigan I feel you would really love cashmere corduroy to me this is kind of a more older, sophisticated, sensual version of Cozy Cardigan, whereas Cozy Cardigan has that lighter, musky, more flirtatious type smell, personally, in my opinion. I know a lot of people kind of see it the opposite. They see Cozy Cardigan, the elder, and Cashmere Corduroy, the younger sister, but honestly, I feel this is much more sensual, this is much more deeper and I kind of get feel that she's older and Cozy Cardigan is just a little bit more flirtatious. So, and that Cashmere Corduroy being stronger knows where she's going and knows what she wants. But I absolutely love this scent too. And as I said, if you love one, you would really love the other. The next one I am going to talk about also kind of retires through autumn winter here in Australia and then comes out in our spring summer catalogue and I've got a little test to talk about it because it is in my Scentsy Club, it is in my Scentsy Club in multiples but I don't have any at the moment. That is how much I love this scent and how much my son loves this scent so we will fight over this scent i love it in my main bedroom my son would quite happily warm it through the open concept living area in his room 
I do find this specific scent is, while it provides a good hum in the background in open concept area, I think it performs better in bedrooms in smaller areas. And this one is also from the woods category. And that is Pacific Sandalwood. So Pacific Sandalwood is creamy, van creamy vanilla, cashmere and cozy cotton drift over an expanse of warm Pacific Sandalwood. So this is still perfumey, still sensual, still warm and cozy, but it's a little bit more masculine, a little bit more leathery, and you can smell that creamy vanilla in it, which is kind of very making it soft and enhanced, I guess you could say. To me, that creamy vanilla mixed with that sandalwood, to me, comes across a little bit like a caramel, rich caramel note but warmer and I guess a little bit more woodsy with the sandalwood. So I kind of get more caramel vibes as opposed to vanilla mode, but caramel vibes as opposed to vanilla vibes mixed with that sandalwood, but it's rich, it's warm, it's comforting, slightly perfumey, slightly masculine. This is a fantastic scent. And as I said, it's one that my 10 year old son fights me for. So I have to have two come every quarter in, do I have two or three? I may even have three. When it retired the first time I had two come every quarter, but I think because of how much we were using it when it retired again, I changed it to three, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. But I know I have at least two come every quarter with this specific scent because specific scent because I love it that much and my son loves it that much and as you can see I'm using a tester because even that two every quarter gets used up before my next Sensi Club shipment with this comes I think it's not due to come for another two months so it basically gets used up as soon as it comes through the door so I am hoping with catalog changeover in the next few months it will make a return. If not, it is in my Scentsy Club just to be on the safe side. But I really love it when it is available because I can get a six pack and not worry about never having it. So the next one I'm going to talk about, this was a Bring Back My Bar. I think it was a Bring Back My Bar about two or three Bring Back My Bars ago. And this is one, based on the scent notes, I kind of would have thought would be a little bit too deep, a little bit too earthy for me. If it were to go into a catalogue, I would kind of guess it would go into the woods category. I seem to be really loving the woods category for my cozy master bedroom scents, but that is Vanilla Oud. So this is a deep, rich, earthy, sweet wood. The vanilla kind of enhances that sweet and soft note. And because the Oud is an older wood, it's also kind of sweet as well but it's deep and earthy and rich at the same time. And I absolutely love this scent in my bedroom. This is also a, another Scentsy Club scent for me. So, if I were to pull up the scent notes of Vanilla Oud, it is sweet vanilla grounded by leather and earthy oud wood and this was bring back my bar in june of 2021 so this is how long i've had that in my sensi club we're now in june of 2022 so it has been in my sensi club for a full year because i just love this scent that much so 
This was a year's Bring Back My Bar and it's just a beautiful, rich, earthy, sweet wood and I absolutely love it. It's very sensual, it's a little bit masculine, very romantic. So the next one was also a Bring Back My Bar and I believe this was the first Bring Back My Bar I actually participated in as a consultant and this is kind of my romantic scent and that is a love story so this one has a combination of jasmine chocolate and amber in it from memory So, since you describe this one as innocent pink jasmine, central amber, embraced by a luscious dark chocolate, and this was in the July 2020 Bring Back My Bar as well. So it was in the same Bring Back My Bar as Vanilla Oud. You don't smell the chocolate in this. I think what the chocolate in this is doing is adding a richness and a sweet depth to the scent overall. What I smell is that gorgeous perfume amber mixed with that jasmine. So the jasmine enhances the sweetness and then you get the richness from that dark chocolate. This is just a perfect romantic sensual scent. And I actually have two of these come every three months in my Scentsy Club because it is one that I do really enjoy in the bedroom. So, now you can't go past a master bedroom, cosy, comforting scent without a lavender scent, in my opinion. For me, lavender scents I love to warm in the bedroom. I just find them relaxing and comforting. So. I did choose in my ultimate six pack a lavender scent that I actually don't even have access to at the moment. I hoarded my last few bars for, or my last few cubes of my last bar for quite a while and I didn't come across this particular scent to be able to put in my Scentsy Club because it was already in the clearance section when I joined. So. I would say it was from the Bring Back My Bar or from the catalogue before I joined and then was a bar I have doesn't show Bring Back My Bar. So I'd say it was in the catalogue previous to the year I joined and that is Fuzzy Blanket and I'm just trying to see if I can pull up the scent notes. I pretty much do remember the scent notes, but I'm going to see if I can still pull up some scent notes to tell you exactly what scents you say. I know it has honeysuckle and it has lavender in there, but I kind of feel it's got something else in there. So this is a beautiful, beautiful lavender scent. And the honeysuckle in this kind of adds a really rich sweetness to it and my fumbling fingers keep typing the wrong thing okay so so the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle. So I did know there was something else in it. And that's that sandalwood. So it also adds that rich, deep depth to it. And I think that's why I love it. I have a thing for sandalwood scents. And then you've got that rich, honeysuckle, sweet scent. So it's not just pure, in your face, herbal lavender. There's other scents sweeping in and out, adding a sweetness to it and adding a rich depth to it. 
So you've got that earthy, woodsy note of the sandalwood creating a richness. That honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is a very, very sweet scented flower. So it adds sweetness to it, but doesn't overtake the herbalness of the lavender. So it's not an astringent lavender. It's very much a sweet, warm, comforting lavender. And this is one that I vote for crazy every green break my bar. Hasn't quite made it back yet in the voting round. I'm hoping one day it will. When it does, it will be going into my Sensi Club. I kind of keep the clamshell just so I can smell what Lingurian scent is left from this because I love that scent that much. So that was my ultimate six pack or cozy scents for the main bedrooms. I would love to hear what would be your ultimate six pack for your master bedroom. What scents do you like to warm in your master bedroom? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you love to warm. Until then, until my next ultimate six pack, stay safe and bye for now.